TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. Today we're at General Electric in Plainville, Connecticut. This installation is a solar carport located in an existing parking lot. This is a 98.7 kilowatt solar installation using shot 235 watt polycrystalline panels in conjunction with a racking system composed of unistrut racking alongside S5 clips. We're using two SATCON 50kW inverters at 208 three phase. The purpose of this project was to provide grid tied PV power not only for a feed in for the utility, but also for existing and new General Electric car chargers that will be used by several GE employees. Hello, and I'm here with uh, Seth Keller and Brian Schmalberger from General Electric. Thanks, guys, for being here today. Huh? Thanks, Chris. Glad to have We're going to discuss uh, this uh, carport. So, talk to me a little about how this came to be. Uh, sure. The uh, the idea here is, you know, GE's trying to get more involved in solar, and we've been developing new products for the solar market with our uh, Evergold solar brand. Uh, so, the idea here was to really demonstrate to the uh, to the neighborhood um, and to everybody else that, you know, We've got these products, and this is a pretty good means of being able to demonstrate that, uh, both for our solar products and for our electric vehicle chargers. Very good. Now let's discuss these electric vehicle chargers a little bit more. What was, uh, what's the premise behind these? Well, I think uh, this is really one of the first big installs that we've seen that combines uh, PV and EV. So this is uh, EV being electric vehicle. So this is a great opportunity to incorporate um, both of our product lines to. Uh, to uh, demonstrate that they, they can work together in, uh, in a very simple solution. Um, th this, this setup is interesting because it, it uh, using the being inter interconnected to the grid allows us to, to use the solar power to, to charge these vehicles. Very good. So let's talk a little bit about the equipment that we have installed here. Let's discuss uh, our car chargers, the, either the phase ones or phase twos, and let's talk about how, you, how you're incorporating these disconnects and these combiner boxes. Sure, well, I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the solar pieces, and I, I guess you can talk a little bit more about the core, core, core products. But basically, on the, on the solar uh, combiner box and disconnects, uh, which is our Evergold line, that's what we branded all of our solar products coming out. Uh, what we've done here is uh, we've designed the system especially to utilize our combiner boxes. And the system could have been designed in a multitude of ways, uh, but we, what we did here was to try to um, use as many different catalog numbers as possible in the installation so that we could walk customers through and sales guys through to demonstrate how our products would be used in the field and other types of installations as well. Um, we, today we offer 12 string and 24 string uh, NEMA 3R construction and NEMA 4X construction for minor box, as well as uh, 30 to 100 amp uh, DC disconnect. And that's what's demonstrated here in the parking lot. And I think being able to work closely with, with, uh, with Innovatus and, and, and you guys uh, allowed us to to have some say in where the, where the switches were placed, where the combiner boxes were placed, and um, and in addition to the, the this, this Evergold line, um, it also allowed us to incorporate all of our AC cars. So off to the side of the carport, we have uh, so, some 200 amp disconnects, 400 amp disconnects, uh, panels, some breakers, TVSS. So we we incorporate a lot of the stuff that we've been making for, and for, this, for years this and years. And this all being DC equipment. No, that that's all that's all AC equipment. Okay. So we have our DC stuff, DC equipment on the on the power columns of the, of the carport. We have our AC stuff uh, right up to the side. Still laid out in a very nice way where we can bring customers up to it, show them the, essentially what is a one-line diagram uh, right in front of them. Very good, very good. Now, is there anything that either of you would do differently throughout this project? Any of the learning curves that you had throughout just either the construction or the, the commissioning through the system? Um. I, you know, I, th I think overall, I think you know everything went pretty smoothly. You know, obviously, there, as you walk through a project like this, there's things that you learn and take away from it that you know maybe could have made uh, the project management piece a little bit smoother. But other than that, I think everything went as planned. And you know, today's April 22nd, so we were able to launch this thing on Earth Day, which is a big thing. Yeah. And I, I think um, cer certainly wouldn't change this, but I think one of the great things that, that we did in uh, working with, with you guys was work closely. Um, say, you know, to incorporate our stuff. Uh, to do do so, do do so in a manner that still allowed you guys to to um, complete the project on time and uh, you know within scope too. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks, okay, thank you. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovatus Solar, a turnkey integrator and distributor of PV modules, inverters, and all the additional equipment to install a state-of-the-art photovoltaic system. Visit Innovatus Solar at I N O V A T. E-U-S-Solar.com.
to find a dealer, purchase PV equipment, inquire about dealerships, or speak with a salesperson about Innovative Solar's turnkey services, including feasibility studies, engineering, construction, and financing. Mm -hmm.